Oh, Paul, thank you so much. Thank you, Paul, for those kind words uh, that you spoke about uh, about my history. Uh, Paul was last year's Lifetime Achievement Award winner, and I'll tell you, that's a lifetime of music. I want to, I really want to thank the Forest City London Music Hall of Fame for this Lifetime Achievement Award, and as Larry Mercer said tonight, it's nice to receive it when you're alive, not posthumously, and uh, so thank you for that. Uh, the organization is, uh, is tremendous uh, in promoting live music. That's what I did, that's what I tried to do. Uh, it was my passion, my joy. I can't believe it's 50 years ago already. Um, as I look out the audience, yeah, some of you are my vintage, but many of you weren't even born yet, and uh, it, was, it was terrific. Uh, it was all about the musicians and the magic. And it was a listening house, uh, sort of, I had very kind of strict rules about that. I've created a display at the Hall of Fame featuring a collage of over 50 albums that were produced during my, uh, my tenure at Snail Space. The albums you would recognize, the musicians you'd recognize, handmade music, Woodshed music, uh, terrific men and women of song. In fact, those albums and those artists uh, created a great part of the, the Canadian songbook as we know it today. What a talented city this is. I'm, I'm proud to say that many people uh, have said to me that London became the folk music capital of Canada. And I think that's terrific. If I had any part of that, I'm, I'm very proud of it. Um, over the past two days, I've experienced live music and, and the camaraderie that's been presented here through the awards and through Music Week. And uh, it, it's been uh, heartwarming to, to know that the passion and the heart and soul of music continues in the city the way it does. I had to... Uh, I had to... Uh, I was surprised to hear Mario last night when he said that this is a unique city in its uh, recognition of its artists and um, people that contribute to live music in London. Unique in Canada, and I think that's terrific. Mario also noted that this, all the people that work on this in the Hall of Fame and the awards are not paid. This is a not-for-profit organization and that really deserves a round of applause. So, I would like, I, I would like to say with my tongue firmly planted in my cheek that I was also a kind of a non-profit organization. In fact, uh, does anybody know the difference between a coffee house owner and a pizza? Well, a pizza can feed a family of four. <laughs> and I, I, all joking aside, it wasn't about the money, it was about my passion for presenting live music. And I met some of the, the finest people of my life, the men and women, uh, who made that music happen and introduced, I'm happy that I introduced, the, introduced those people to London, both on stage and on a, a radio show I worked on with Ian Davies at CFPL in those days. Um, <laughs> now, I just want to say I'm very grateful to be recognized. Uh, I'm very happy to receive this, uh, this honor. I'm happy that my family is here with me tonight, my wife Patty, my son Trevor, my daughter Kaylee. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul.